Nintendo has released the first wave of the Booster Course DLC tracks. This is the first time Mario Kart 8 has got new tracks in a very long time, so it's a pretty big deal. I've played all the tracks and I enjoy all of them, but some are definitely better than others. Today I will be ranking all 8 tracks of Wave 1 from worst to best. This list is my personal opinion, so if you disagree that's fine, this is just what I think. Number 8, Tour Tokyo Blur. Tokyo Blur is a track I have never played before since I haven't played Mario Kart Tour, so the three tracks from Tour in this first wave are all new and fresh to me. And while I like all of them, Tokyo Blur is the worst. There's nothing that really stands out to me about this track, you're just driving through a city with not many obstacles or enemies, although there are a couple of prompts. The track does switch up on the third lap so you have to take a different path which is cool, but it's not even the only course in this wave to do that. Overall, Tokyo Blur is a solid track, but someone had to be last. Number 7, 3DS Toad Circuit. If you played Mario Kart 7 any, then you'd recognize Toad Circuit, since it's the opening course in that game. Naturally, with it being the first track in a Mario Kart game, it's fairly generic and easy, which perfectly describes Toad Circuit. The only somewhat interesting part to me is the glide ramp that pops up, and also the music is fantastic. Number 6, N64 Chaco Mountain. I'll admit I've never been a big fan of Chaco Mountain, whether that's on Mario Kart 64 or Mario Kart DS, but this version is much better than the latter. The course looks so much better than the older versions, and I enjoy the cave part and the new gliding section. It's just a lot more fun to drive and looks less boring. Number 5, GBA Sky Garden. Once again, Nintendo has taken a GBA track and breathed new life into it. Sky Garden looks fantastic with the fluffy clouds and paratroopers flying everywhere. Plus the leave shortcut is very fun and pretty easy to do. It's not as good of a remake as Cheese Land or Ribbon Road, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Number 4, Tour Paris Promenade. Another track from Mario Kart Tour that I have not played before. Paris Promenade is very enjoyable with lots of fun turns and glider spots. And the best feature of this track is that on lap 3 you switch paths and actually drive the course backwards, which is super cool and unique. This is a very good track, but that just shows you how good these tracks are that it is only number 4. Number 3, Wii Coconut Mall. Ah, Coconut Mall, an all-time Mario Kart classic that will live in our hearts forever. I was honestly a little disappointed in this remake since it was changed up a little too much for my liking. I'm not a big fan of the escalators not having stairs since that would be more realistic, but my biggest gripe is the parking lot section where there's only two cars and they don't even move, so it's super easy to maneuver through them. But hey, at least they kept the music pretty much the same. Number 2, DS Room Ridge. This one may be a little biased since Mario Kart DS was one of my favorite games growing up and Shroom Ridge is one of my favorite courses, but I think we can all agree that this track is a joy to play. There's just the right amount of cars to make it difficult, but not too difficult, and they even added a shortcut at the end where you can fly over a cliff. Not to mention the remake music is absolutely fantastic. Number 1, Tour Ninja Hideaway. This one was pretty shocking to me. Going into this, I never thought a tour track would be the best one, but Ninja Hideaway blew me away. There's a lot going on in this course, many different paths and shortcuts you can take all through the race, obstacles like the giant spikes and super fun gliding sections. It really makes you feel like you're in a ninja dojo and it's a blast to drive. I was very impressed with the tracks in the first wave of the booster course pass. All of these tracks are good and some are even great. I am very excited to see what tracks we will get for wave 2 and look forward to ranking those as well. If you enjoyed the video and are interested in Mario Kart content in general, that's exactly what I do, so consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep carding.